Sir. Good afternoon, Vipan Manika is, we will discuss environment and ecology, current affairs. Consider the so first question. Consider the following st statements regarding kelp forest. Kelp forests are underwater areas which provide food and shelter to fish, invertebrates, and marine mammal species. Marine mammal species, they offer crucial services such as carbon sequestration and erosion control. Bryozoa are highly beneficial for increasing the productivity of kelp forest. Social following statements are correct. First statement is right that the kale forest on are underwater areas which provide food and shelter for fish, invertebrates and marine mammal species. This is right. They have crucial services such as carbon sequestration and erosion control. As I said, provide shelter and food. So usually you can uh, we can guess that it will provide uh, is, you know, services like carbon sequestration. So second statement, it's a forest mean obviously you can guess that it is uh, it will be used in carbon sequestration. Then, then the bryozoa are highly beneficial for increasing the productivity of kelp um, forest. This is wrong. Bryozoa is a threat for kelp forest. Okay, it's a threat. Bryozoa, 
브라이더조와 이제 에, 트레이드 for the cane forest and most animals that grow in uh, some most animals grow in the on the kelps and this biogea that is a threat to the kelp forest so third statement is wrong and because uh, this biogea they uh, induces disintegration of sea weeds disintegration of disintegration of the sea weed that occurs because of biogea so this is threat to the kelp forest so one and two options are right regarding kelp forest second question what do you understand by ecological footprint ecological footprint the way in which ecological agents reveal their preferences through ecological activity ecological agents through which ecological agents reveal their preferences through ecological activity or second statement their preferences so it is not about the preferences so first statement is obviously wrong the degree of impairment one ecosystem which has then surprise surprise the too severe and allow to allow recovery of that ecosystem no that is the carrying capacity becomes over that is the situation so second statement is also wrong it is not degree of impairment on the ecosystem an index that area of productive ecosystem area of productive ecosystem required to produce the resources used to assimilate the waste produced by defined population yes an index of area of productive ecosystem required to produce the resources that is called as ecological ecological resources used to assimilate the waste produced in a definite population that is called as ecological footprint non monetary assessment of ecology, ecosystem integrity health and resilience no this is not about ecological uh, ecological uh, integrity it's about um, an index of area of productive ecosystem required to produce resources the resources that will be sufficient for the human being and that will assimilate the waste produced by the by definite definite population if that increases what will happen that will be disastrous for the for the environment due to some reasons if there is there is a huge fall in the population of species butterflies species of butterflies what could be the likely consequences what could be the likely consequences if huge number of butterflies will reduce one is pollination of some plants may be adversely affected obviously because the pollination is um, pollution generally pollutions of uh, various species are run by the water flies so fast treatment will be definitely right it could lead a fall in the population of some species yes fall species some species like wasp spider and birds because uh, they are food for certain birds so some um, birds snakes right spiders they 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 are the prey of they are the prey of butterflies so second statement is also right there could be drastic increase in the fungal infection of some cultivated plants see the what drastic increase in such a situation the statement are wrong whenever it is drastic increase sudden increase high increase polarized statement this is wrong so one and two options are the right answer What is the following statement? Soil organic matter (SOM) is a composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, but also have small amount of nutrition, nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus. Storing of carbon con content in organic matter within soil is seen as a way to mitigate climate change. Storing of carbon content in organic matter within soil. the soil organic matter soc cannot be emitted back in the gaseous form or lost into the atmosphere which of the following statements are correct regarding som 
generally such statements like cannot are wrong because there is always certain possibilities it can be lost. it can be emitted it can be lost to the atmosphere so such statement is wrong if three is wrong then obviously one and three is wrong you have option here it is one and two are the right answers right options that is storing the carbon content in organic matter with the soil it is seen to be to mitigate climate change storing the carbon content in the organic matter within the soil right carbon sequestration you are storing the carbon within the soil this is right compose of carbon hydrogen oxygen also have small amount of nutrients yes so first statement is wrong and second statement is wrong so one and two options will be right regarding soil organic matter what are the following statements regarding sea horses what are sea horses the hotspots of sea horse population are distributed across diverse ecosystems such as sea grass mangroves diverse ecosystems such as sea grass mangroves microalgal beds and coral reefs sea grass mangroves microalgal beds and coral reefs yes it is right sea horses are poor swimmers but migrate by rafting new habitats by successful maintenance of their population but migrate by rafting to new habitats second sector is also right they are poor swimmers but they migrate by rafting then coastal ecosystem of india have all species of sea horses found in indo pacific region have all the the coastal ecosystem of india has all the species of sea horses see how can all the species of sea horses of indo pacific can be seen in india this is something called as whenever you see the word all then all the statement this statement are wrong so one and two option will be right extensive fishing in the coromandel coast that lead to the migrate of the sea horses right towards odisha coast worldwide there are around 46 sea horses right india has our um, in the coastal ecosystem india has 9 out of 12 species 9 out of 12 species type of species in the chain in the indo pacific region so it is one of the hotspot region such where sea grass is present mangroves are present microbial art micro microalgal beds are present so one and two options are right already see us what is the blue statement regarding dissolved oxygen in an aquatic ecosystem dissolved oxygen in a aquatic it increases with increase in the water temperature of the water body smoke or ice on the water reduces uh, it concentration of fresh water is usually more than the concentration uh, of oxygen in the air dissolved oxygen in aquatic system but it increases with increase in the temperature of water body snow cover or ice water reduces dissolved oxygen concentration which of the following statements are right regarding which of the following statements are correct first thing that it will never increase if temperature of water body increases then then this will never increase why because there will be various various species they will all they will decompose and when they will decompose when a particular species inside water body decompose what will happen uh, it require oxygen so the dissolved oxygen require oxygen so the dissolved oxygen that will reduce so pass this statement will be wrong then concentration of fresh water is usually more than concentration of oxygen in how it is possible obviously oxygen will be more in air from air the secondary sources is water we cannot found by our reward of oxygen inside water so first statement is also wrong only three is right answer that is snow cover on ice or water reduces dissolved oxygen concentration then what is the following statement regarding bioenzymes
बायो एंजाइम्स आर ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्यूशन प्रोड्यूस थ्रू फर्मेंटेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक वेस्ट लाइक फ्रूट्स वेजिटेबल पील्स फ्लावर्स बाय मिक्सिंग शुगर जगरी मोलासेस एंड वाटर ईस्ट कैन बी यूज्ड टू स्लो डाउन द प्रोसेस ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन नो ईस्ट इज ए कैटलिस्ट ईस्ट इज इट इंक्रीजेस द फर्मेंटेशन सो दिस इज रॉन्ग एंड द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज राइट बायो एंजाइम्स दैट आर ऑर्गेनिक सॉल्यूशंस they are created by fermentation of organic waste like fruits vegetable peels flowers and by mixing sugar and molasses with water bioenzymes are created it takes around 60 to 100 days around to ferment organic waste for fermentation of organic waste it requires around 50 to 100 days okay if you can use yeast then it will be around 40 to 45 to 50 days fermentation will occur consider the following statements regarding whale standing whale standing is a phenomenon which in which whales are stuck on the land usually on a beach standing events involve only single animals there are no instances of mass mass standing costing different marine animals at a time consisting of different marine animals at a time the topography of a region and increased noise pollution is a reason that can lead to whale standing so what are the causes of whale standing standing events only single animals there are no instances it is very difficult to prove how there is no instances for mass standing of marine animals different marine animals see it consisting of different marine animals this is wrong obviously wrong because it can be it is very difficult to prove that huge mass standing would not happen consist of different marine animals so second statement will be definitely wrong So obviously, first statement is right. Whale is a phenomenon. Whales stock on the land. You have seen many times whales are on the sea beach. So, are there three options? Will be the right answers regarding whale stranding. Carbon tax. Carbon taxes are a type of Pigophian tax because they adversely affect the lower strata of society. They follow. No, no, carbon tax do not address affect the lower strata of society. They follow progressive taxation principles. They adhere to negative externalities. No, no, they don't. Which of the following is a type of? carbon tax a type of pigovian task tax what is carbon tax it is a what is a form of pollution tax carbon tax is a form of pollution pollution tax and that levies fuel on the production and distribution and use of fossil fuel if you are using fossil fuel then you have to pay you have to pay carbon tax it will be based on the That will be based on combustion emits. Okay. Then what is uh, what is the pigovian tax? Pigovian tax when uh, that is a tax on private individuals and for engaging in activities that create adverse effect to society. Pigovian tax means suppose you are creating harm to the environment, then tax will be imposed on it. That is pigovian tax. Any adverse effect to society, if you are doing any adverse work to the society, then you will pay for pigovian tax. So. Um, They are they address negative as externalities. What do you mean negative external? Not negative problems. So these statements will be right. Carbon taxes address negative externalities. 
Trace metals like aluminum and copper are essential for ozone productivity. Studying the interaction of trace metals and marine plant and animal helps to Trace metals are cadmium or copper are, uh, are essential for ocean productivity. Studying the interaction of trace metals and marine plant of line helps to track movement of water masses responsible for ocean circulation. Studying biological, geological, chemical eco processes and food wave analysis of the oceans is only right. Understanding the nutrient cycling and productivity of the oceans. That's the second and third option should be right. Next fast option. The track of movement of water masses responsible to ocean circulation. The cardinal essential for ocean productivity, such interaction of trace metals and marine plant and animals. They help to yes. So all the statements will be right regarding to stress metals to track the movement of water, study the biological, and geological, and chemical ecosystem, understand the nutrient cycling and productivity of the oceans. So all the statements of and that is right. Consider the following statements regarding sea weeds. It is a common name for countless species of marine species such as plants such as algae. This is right, sea weed is a algae. Right. Next is sea weeds detrimental to human health and consumption. No, they are used for human health. If they are used for food, they are, they are, not, uh, they are not harmful to the human health. Sea weeds does not grow in flowing water areas of like rivers and streams. This is also wrong. So only one only option is the right answer. See which they glow in flowing waters. Wow. Consider the following statements regarding A. Ju Janthali's corals. A. Ju Janthali corals are non reef building solitary corals. They derive most of their nourishment from the sun. They are also found in swallow water regions. So, which of the following, which of the following are true regarding? They derive most of their nourishment from the A. Ju Janthali corals. Some are Jujanthali colors and some are A Jujanthali colors. So, they are especially this Ju, Ju plankton, this Ju plankton, they are Ju plankton, so they cannot, they cannot, uh, they cannot derive food from the sun. They are generally dependent on phytoplanktons. So, one and two options will be, the one and three options will be right answer. Swallowed regions and they are non leaf fielding solitary corals. So, one and three options will be right. Two planktons are dependent on phytoplanktons, and phytoplanktons are dependent mainly on the sunlight to prepare their food in the process of photosynthesis.
जिन वॉशिंगटन कन्वेंशन है हजारों स्वेस्ट एंड देयर डिस्पोजल लॉर्डन कन्वेंशन वाराइन पोल्यूशन बॉन कन्वेंशन मेरिटल स्पेशिस डेसेल कन्वेंशन ट्रेडिंग इंडेंजर्ड स्पेशिस व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स मैच द फॉलोइंग राइट वी नो दैट बॉन कन्वेंशन इज रिगार्डिंग मेराइन स्पेशिस राइट सो थ्री विल बी सी दिस इज राइट इफ थ्री इज सी सो ए एंड डी आर एलिमिनेटेड so next is basel ten with the basel convention washington convention and london convention which two options uh, see one is yes washington convention is regarding trade in endangered species washington convention then uh, then not marine com- pollution is regarding london convention that is right one convention is for migratory species and basel convention is for hazardous waste and yes has basel convention is for hazardous waste in the dispersal four is way a this is also very common so four a and three c four and three c this combination is written b and c so obviously your c will be right answer so london convention called convention is evolution regarding marine pollution then consider the following statements regarding bio pesticides regarding bio pesticides bio pesticides are generally affect the target pest and close related organisms generally affect the target pest and close related organisms bio pesticides are usually inherently less toxic than conventional pesticides Bacillus thuringiensis is an example of bio pesticide which of the following are bio pesticides generally affect the target pest yes and closely related organisms yes because pesticide is not limited only to the organisms the surrounding organisms are also uh, affected because of bio pesticides because they are chemical sometimes they also lead to uh, your algal bloom or eutrophication right because they passes through the sun, uh, they passes through the rain water and they they come they uh, enter into the marine aqua body aqua, aqua bodies uh, right and ultimately what happens they becomes dangerous to the aquatic aquatic species so they affect the surrounding organism so first it would be right bio pesticides are usually inherently less toxic than conventional pesticides yeah these are right because they are bio pesticides they are sustainable environmentally sustainable for example for example neem neem are one type of food uh, bio pesticides they are, they are better less toxic than the and than the conventional pesticides bacillus thuringiensis is an example of bio pesticides so The option is also right. One, two, three. All the statements are correct. So, a most common microbial bio pesticide. This is it is the most common bio pesticide. Consider the following statement regarding state of the forest reports in India. state of the forest report in india the forest survey of india started publishing biennial state of the forest reports even before india's independence india does not include within forest cover does not include within forest cover these areas predominantly under agriculture and urban forest and areas the land areas With tree canopy density less than forty percent and above, are considered as dense forest. Which of the following are uh, which of the following statements are right regarding correct regarding state of the forest reports? First statement is wrong because the forest survey of India it started 
Biennial State of Forest Reports in 1987. Why? Because the environmental consciousness that itself developed in after 1972. Nobody was serious before 1972 regarding environment. So past statement is by logic and say that this is right. This is wrong. India does not include within forest cover. Nobody includes within forest cover areas under agriculture and urban and urban forest. Why the urban or urban forest land areas will not be included in forest cover? So obviously this will be this is wrong. So three. So next is the land areas with calorie density more than forty percent and above are called as dense forest areas. So B option will be the right answer. Consider the following statements regarding coral reefs. Consider the following statements regarding coral reefs. Coral reefs cover more than twenty-five percent of our surface. Coral reefs helps in substantially reducing coastal flooding and erosion. Increased ocean temperature causes reefs to expand the symbiotic algae relationship for their color. More than 25% of our surface. Cover more than yes. Another question is more than 25% of our surface. Is it possible? No. How can 25% one by four? This is wrong. Okay. It is hardly 0.5 percent of our earth surface, so past statement is wrong. Next, coral reefs helps in substantially reducing coastal flooding and erosion. This is very important. This is right. That is the significance of coral reefs. Uh, that helps substantially reducing coastal flooding and erosion. Increase ocean temperature causes reefs to express symbiotic al uh, symbiotic algae responsible for that color. Yes, so that that called as coral bleaching. So two and three options are right regarding chlora. So two three and three options are right. Consider the following statements. The World Wildlife Day (WWD) is established to mark establishment of sites. Sites in inter international agreement between governments that aim to ensure that international trade in specimens of wild animals and plants does not threaten the survival of the species. The site secretary is, secretary is administered by International Union for Conservation of Nature. Which of the following statements are right regarding sites? Site secretary is administered by IUCN. This is wrong, right? Sites are different. Site secretaries is at administered by Union EP. United Nations Environmental Program 1972, which established at headquarters at Nairobi, Kenya. That is site secretaries administered by Union EP. So last statement is wrong. Then sites are in terms of agreement between governments. Influential international trade and specimens. Yes, second statement is right. World Wildlife Day is the celebrated to mark the establishment of sites. Yes. So, first and one and two of statements are right regarding sites. Consider the following statements regarding appendicides. Appendices covered under sites. What are the appendices? Appendix one includes species not threatened or, or with extinction. Not threatened with extinction. How can we be not threatened and extinction at the same time? This is wrong. 
Appendix 2 included specifics necessarily to threaten and with extension. Now this combination is wrong actually. Action. Appendix 3 concerns species that are protected in at least one country and which are asked other sides parties to assist and control of the trade. Yes, this is right. So, three only option is the right answer. Actually, appendix one is uh, species is threatened with extension. So, it is just reverse appendix one and this is appendix two. Appendix two will not, this species is not necessarily threatened with extension. So, three only option is the right answer regarding sites. That is, one species must be protected under one country and that, that has asked that ask the other country to protect it and consider the following pairs Mukunda Tiger Reserve where is Mukunda Tiger Reserve it is at Rajasthan Kuno National Park in Madhya Pradesh is right Noura Dehi National Wildlife Sanctuary where is Noura Dehi Wildlife Sanctuary it is in Madhya Pradesh MP so one and two uh, which of the following statements are correctly matched? So, correctly matched are 1 and 2. No other in MP, right? In Mukunda in Rajasthan, Mukunda Tiger Reserve, that is in Rajasthan. Next is the prevention of cruelty to animals act 1960. Which of the following are equal to animals? Not providing animal food, water, and shelter, overburdening or overworking of animals, mutilating the killing of an animal, mutilating or killing of an animal, not providing animal food, shelter, and water that is also equal to animals. So, all the options are right regarding cruelty to animals. Under Prevention of Cruelty Animals Act 1960. Yellowstone National Park, which is widely considered to be the first national park in the world, is located in Namibia, Chile, USA, or Australia. Yellowstone National Park it is present at USA. Right. It has recently celebrated its 151 anniversary. First national park in the world, that is Yellowstone National Park. Methanol is a clean burning fuel. What are the environmental effects of methanol? Methanol burning. Sorry, methanol. It's a clean burning fuel uh, produces uh, fuel strong causing uh, smog causing emissions such as sulfur. Yes, it's um, emission sulfur and there produces fewer smog. Sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides and can improve air quality related to human health issues. Clean burning fertile fossil fuel that is methanol. Methanol offers excellent oxidation and power, also improve vehicle efficiency. This is also right. Methanol can be produced from renewable sources like biomass and recycle. It's like ethanol and what it is, it is a very good, uh, very good sources of uh, fuel. So, all the statements are right regarding methanol.
then consider the following statements the past year some genetically modified crops has improved traits like herbicide resistant crops and pest resistance crop past generation is non food crop non food crop is the past generation food crop past generation gm crop second generation is food crop food crop that is second generation third generation is uh, fourth generation is your third generation is algae fourth fourth generation by actually genetically modified crops these are different crops by biofuels right different types of biofuels so the past generation of gm crops has improved things like herbicide resistant crops and pest resistant crops so first statement is right herbicide resistant the predominantly the predominant uh, nature of genetically modified crops is that herbicide resistant crops second generation gm crops involve enhanced quality traits such as higher nutrient content golden rice is a gm crop that is why fortified to address vitamin a deficiency yes golden rice then can only pick up by fortified to address vitamin a deficiency this is right second generation gm crops in uh, enhance quality traits such as higher nutrient content so one to three all the statements are correct higher nutrient content right second generation gm crops higher nutrient content genetically modified crops next is bagasse is dry pulpy fibrous material that remains after crossing sugarcane and sorghum stalks to extract their juice it is primary composed of lignin it is used as a biofuel as a biofuel for the production of heat energy and electricity where is bagasse are used first statement is right the dry pulpy fibrous materials remain crossing sugar cane and stalks to extract their juice first statement is right second is primarily composed of lignin no bagasses are not composed of uh, lignin it is composed of cellulose cellulose and hemicellulose so this is wrong lignin percentage is correct is very few few around 18 to 24% It is used as a biofuel for the production of heat, energy, and electricity. Yes, it is used as a biofuel. So, one of the options are right regarding bagasses. Consider the following statement regarding clean development mechanism CDM. What is CDM? CDM which is started by uh, confidence building measures. Uh, so, a clean development mechanism in 2002 after the under the Kyoto Protocol. A clean development mechanism. It is a market-based approach reducing emissions of greenhouse gases to contribute to climate change. This is right. CDM project active activity might involve rural electrification project using solar panels or installation of more energy efficient boilers. Yes, it may happen. The and the project registered by India on the CDM is high highest in the world. This is wrong. It is not highest. What what is CDM? CDM means. Uh, It is a it is a instrument by which 
one countries or especially developed developed country they will contribute to the developing countries right so that their climate change will be reduced so one in uh, one in two options are right regarding regarding the clean development mechanism then biodiversity heritage sites are protected under biodiversity heritage sites what they are no 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 of this right because biodiversity heritage site are protected by 2002 biodiversity act biodiversity act after 2002 Then what is social forestry? Community forestry, social forestry. Reduce the pressure of traditional forest area by encouraging plantations on community land. That is social forestry. First is right. That's social forestry. Promoting commercial harvesting of timber and non-timber products from traditional forest by community. No, this is wrong. No, commercial harvesting. No, this is wrong. This is not social. It is commercial. So first statement is right. Only first statement is right. Which of the following places in the world has the highest concentration of one-horned rhinos? One-horned rhinos highest concentration. What is it? Is Pavitra Wildlife Sanctuary. Pavitra Wildlife Sanctuary. There is one-horned rhinos, in, and that is present in Assam. Pavitra Wildlife Sanctuary. There is highest concentration of one-horned rhinos. So B statement is right. Consider the following statements regarding the red sandal. The issue regarding red sandal was news because of Pushpa movie. Red sandal, red sandal, or endemic tree is a distribution restricted to eastern parts of India. Red sandals. It is uh, especially other Pradesh region. So this is right. Under the foreign policy, trade are very important. Export red sandal, red sandals, red uh, uh, important export foreign policy. Trade policy: Export of red sandals is prohibited. This is right. Prohibited? No, this is not right. It is not prohibited. Red sandals. So here, especially import is prohibited, but uh, export is restricted. Some restricted items can be. Both are not prohibited. This is wrong. Import is prohibited. export is controlled it is listed under schedule 4 of the indian wildlife protection act and endangered as per iucn red list which the following statements are correct regarding um, red sanders It is gender and from I S P. So one and three options will be right. Consider the following statements regarding distribution of wetlands in India. According to National Wetland Inventory Assessment compiled by ISRO, wetlands are spread over more than ten percent of the total geographical area of India. This is wrong. Ten percent is impossible, right? Ten percent area of wetland is impossible. In state-wide distribution of wetland, West Bengal has the top position regarding number of wetlands. This is also wrong. Gujarat is at top. Gujarat has number of has a number of wetlands. Then in uh, inland wet natural wetlands account for maximum share compared to coastal natural wetlands. Which of the following statements are true? Yes, inland natural wetlands maximum share. It is more than the coastal areas. So three only statement is the right answer. Which of the following uh, patterns reveal the patterns of climate change on Earth? Study of tree rings, study of interglacial periods. That will give information regarding uh, patterns of path. Both the statements are right. Study of tree rings. How many rings are there in the 
and interglacial periods they they talks about they give information regarding that is the global temperature average global temperature of thousands of years that is interglacial periods that will that will inform us about the climate change so both the statements and we are right also the following statements regarding iusian red list red list list to convey the urgency of conservation of issues to the public and policy makers as well as help of international community to reduce species extinction this is right it is world's most comprehensive inventory of global conservation status of biological species most comprehensive inventory inventory means the storage most comprehensive industry means storage of different species right information about different species that is so that's why this is right pink pages in this topic include formerly endangered species is yes, pink pages that they give the information regarding formerly endangered species the aim of iucn red list is to convey the urgency of conservation issues to the public yes there are different different types of species for example uh, your for example um, for example there is uh, critical endangered then endangered then vulnerable then list comes up extinct These are the different types of species that are specified, and the status of each and every is specified. So that is in IUCN red list. So here, one, two, three, all the statements are uh, pink pages. Yes. Now, now about the pink pages. What are the pink pages? This is not permanent nature. This is this is wrong. Pink pages inform about critical endangered species. So one and two options will be right answer. Species are classified by IUCN red list into which of the following groups? That list comes from data. List comes from data deficient, not evaluated, extinct in the world. Extinct in the world. Which of the following groups? Not evaluated was not in the list. Obviously, data deficient are there, and so extinct in the world is there. Not or uh, any. This is any. Not evaluated. It is there also. All the state, all are right here, right? One is extinct, then extinct in the wild, then you are critically endangered, then endangered, then you are threatened, then least concern, then data deficient, then you are not evaluated. These are the different type of species classified under the Asian red list. So all the statements are right here, and so the lectures end here, and. like this video and share and subscribe to my case thank you